morning, you vine. Welcome to day number two of our Lent season devotion, 50 Reasons Why Jesus Came to Die. Today we'll be looking at Jesus came to die to please his heavenly Father, to please his heavenly Father. In Isaiah 53 verse 10, it says, Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him. He has put him to grief. Yes, it was the will of the Heavenly Father to have Jesus Christ die on the cross for our sin. That God, knowing that we will sin and rebel against Him and before creation, He was planned was to send His Son all along to be our substitute on the cross, that He will die. And that by doing so, He will reclaim us, redeem us, and that that was going to bring glory to Him. It was our Heavenly Father's idea to pour His wrath upon his own son. And it was son's submission to the father that the father didn't have to force Jesus Christ to do it, but yet Jesus Christ simply submitted to the father, not my will, but your will be done. And that as he died on the cross, that he became a fragrant offering to the Lord. As stated in Ephesians chapter five, verse two, Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. This is really hard to grasp that our Heavenly Father will love us so much that He will send His one and only Son to die on the cross for our place. But this is the gospel that we believe in. This is the God that we believe in, that He loves us and that He seeks what is best for us, even at the cost of His Son, Jesus Christ. That He has demonstrated His love for us in a way that now we could love Him we don't have to doubt his love. We don't have to think about the possibility of him leaving us or disappointing us because he has already proven to us through his son, Jesus Christ. And we know that we could trust in Jesus Christ and his faithfulness because he didn't give up on his way to the cross. But till the end, he obeyed to please his father. And Ephesians, uh, Philippians chapter 2 says that because Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to the death, even death on the cross, that God will exalt the name of Jesus Christ above every name and that everyone will worship and confess that he is the Lord. Another Bible passage, an imagery that comes to my mind is Abraham taking Isaac to the mountain to offer him as a sacrifice. Abraham, in his obedience, took Isaac. And Isaac didn't understand everything, but yet he simply followed Abraham, his father. He didn't see a sacrifice, but yet he was willing. I'm sure Isaac was strong enough to fight off Abraham in his old age, and yet he trusted his father Abraham, even to being tied down into the temple. But it was right before that he was slaughtered that God stopped Abraham and God offered him a substitute ram to die on, that cross, uh, die on the temple. Jesus Christ died on the cross. There was no other substitute for Jesus Christ. He had to die so that we could live. And that was all God's plan. And God, Christ, in his submission to the Father, he died on the cross. This is the mystery, the wonder of the gospel that we claim and that we believe in. And I believe that when we claim Christ, when we worship Christ, it pleases the Father. Yes, we're not perfect like Jesus was. A lot of times we are struggling with our journey with Christ. A lot of times that we don't think about Christ even in the moment uh, as we live through our days. But even through those struggles, that as we claim Christ as our Lord, as we pray in Jesus' name, and as we think about him, as we love him, as we share Jesus to others, and even when we make mistakes and commit sin, and that as we ask forgiveness in Christ's name, as we claim Jesus, it pleases the Father. It is the, a fragrant offering that is offered to him. So no matter where you may be in your faith, I pray that today that you will claim Christ, that you will think about him, that you will pray to the Father in his name, and that you will share about who Christ is in your life, and that through that our Heavenly Father will be pleased and worshipped, and the name of Christ will be lifted up. Thank you for joining us today. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. God bless.